Well, hi, boys and girls. Uh, I wanted to share another children's message video with you. And I pray that very soon we can meet together and we can have these children's messages again in person. But in the meantime, I'm, I'm very glad that we have the opportunity to, to share them through video. I wanted to ask you if you're familiar with the expression or the saying, seeing is believing. Have you heard that before? And what that means, seeing is believing, is that in order for a person to be able to believe that something is true, they're saying that they would need to be able to see it with their own two eyes. That unless they can see it themselves, they're just simply not going to believe it. But just as an example of this, what if I told you that I could dunk a basketball? Or what if I told you that I could jump so high that like one of the professional basketball players that you see on TV, or maybe if you've gone to a game, you've seen it in person. What if I told you that I could jump that high, that, that like one of those professional players, that I could reach my hand way above the hoop and I could just dunk a ball? Would you believe that? Would you believe me if I told you that? Or would you say, I'm going to need to see it to believe it? In fact, maybe you would say, well, there's a hoop right outside at church here in the parking lot. And maybe you would, you would give me a ball and say, if you really can dunk a ball, well, let's see it. And if you push me on that, you would actually find out that, in fact, I cannot dunk a basketball. Right? It doesn't matter that I've been watching that newest Michael Jordan documentary. I cannot jump like him. Not even close. I would come up way, way short. And so in that case, you would be very right to be skeptical of what I said. Right? But there are some things that we believe even though we haven't seen them. But for example, we can't see the air around us, can we? Right? We can't see air, but we know that it's there, don't we? We, we believe that it's there. And sometimes we, we have evidence that it's there. Maybe if it's really windy, we can, we can feel the air on our face. Or if it's a windy day and you look outside, you can see the, the, the air, the wind move things. So you can't see it, but, but you still, you know it's there, you believe it's there. Or the love that your parents or family or friends have for you. Again, you can't really see love, can you? You can see the evidence of it. Your parents can tell you that they love you, or they can give you a hug and you can feel that love. So we believe love is there. We believe our parents love us, our family and friends love us, even though love isn't really something that you can see. So there are some things that we can't see, but we still believe in them. Well, this past Sunday in church, we read a Bible story that took place on the very first Easter Sunday, that Sunday morning when, when Jesus rose from the dead after dying on the cross for our sins. Well, on that very first Sunday when, when Jesus rose from the dead, some of Jesus' friends and disciples, many of them, they didn't believe that it was true. That seemed like too good of a thing to be true, that Jesus actually rose from the dead. They thought that couldn't actually happen. And one of Jesus' friends or disciples named Thomas, he especially refused to believe that it could be true. And in fact, he said, unless I can see Jesus with my own two eyes, I won't believe it. Unless I can touch him with my hands, I will not believe that he rose from the dead. And because Thomas refused to believe, Thomas was filled with doubt and fear on that first Easter instead of being filled with that joy and peace that Easter brings. But Jesus, he loved Thomas, as he loves all of us. And Jesus didn't want Thomas to be filled with doubt and fear. He wanted him to have that joy and peace that Easter brings. He wanted Thomas to know that, that he was alive again. And so Jesus appeared to Thomas. And he let Thomas see him with his own two eyes. And he let Thomas reach out his hands and touch him so that he could feel him and know he was alive. And then Jesus said to Thomas, Thomas, stop doubting and believe. Well, you and I, we've never seen Jesus with our own two eyes, have we? I know that I never have, and I'm sure you haven't actually seen Jesus with your own two eyes either. So if we haven't seen him like Thomas has, well, how can we know that Jesus is alive? How can you and I know that, that Jesus died on the cross for our sins and rose again on Easter Sunday morning? How can we know those things? Well, we know those things because the Bible tells us those things, doesn't it? 
We believe those things because God tells us in his word, the Bible, that all those things happen. That Jesus died on the cross to take away all of our sins, all the naughty things that we do. And because Jesus did that, God tells us in his word that we are completely forgiven. And God tells us in his word, the Bible, that that Jesus rose again from the dead on, on Easter Sunday and that because he lives, well, we know that we too will live. But the Bible tells us all of those things. And then God, the Holy Spirit, works in our hearts so that we believe those things that God tells us. And we call that belief faith. Have you heard that word before, faith? Right? Faith, faith is believing in the things that we cannot see with our own eyes, but the things that God tells us, the promises he gives us in his word, the Bible. And you and I, we, we have faith. We have that belief to know the things that God tells us. And so we know that Jesus died on the cross for all of our sins. And so we know we have complete forgiveness because God gives us the faith to believe that. And we know that Jesus rose from the dead on Easter Sunday morning because God has given us the faith to believe it. And we know that because Jesus rose, that we too will live with him forever in heaven and that one day we will get to see Jesus with our own two eyes and we will see him face to face. Now why why don't we pray to God now and thank him for that great gift of faith that even though we haven't seen, we still believe. We'll pray to him now. Dear God, We thank you for giving us the faith to believe in your Son, Jesus, as our Savior. Help us to always to believe in him and all of your promises, so that we are not filled with doubt or worry, but that instead we are always filled with peace and joy and confidence in you. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen.